What's going on guys? Chris here from Hooked on Alaska. Welcome back to another fun episode. So, right now I'm headed back to the Upper Kenai River. Our original plan was to go to the Kasiloff and float from Custamina Lake down to uh, the bridge here, but unfortunately the circumstances aren't going to let us do that. There is a uh, gates keeping us out snow's too deep uh just just everything's you know not not working out for us there so we're gonna go ahead and head back to the upper kenai river where we're gonna be targeting rainbow trout and dolly varden i keep saying we eat wheat because uh, i'm joined today by two buddies of mine chris and riley and uh yeah we're gonna get out there and we're gonna have fun good time we're gonna do a little float down the upper kenai river so it should be a good watch guys um, it's really we got really pretty weather today. Tomorrow is supposed to be 20 mile an hour wind, so it's not going to be so pretty. But uh, I think Friday is going to be nice. So we're going to be down here for three days. Should be a great time. Should be a great video. All you guys have been watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate appreciate each and every one of you and uh, everybody that just subscribed this winter. Thank you guys. Sorry that I was kind of slow on uploads this winter. Uh, just I wasn't feeling it. But uh, summer's coming back around the corner. Open water's right here, and uh, I love it. I love, this is really why I got into YouTube. It's because of the, uh, the just stuff I get to see, the stuff I get to crawl through, and I want to take you guys and show you guys all that. So that's the stuff I really like to video. When in the winter time, it's just white and white and white and white. So there's really nothing to it other than nice fish. But anyways, appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to keep this short, and I'm going to get back to you guys here at the river. All right, appreciate it, guys. Bye. All right, you guys, we made it to the river. I hear doing a little bit of, ooh. That looked good. That looked good. I just had a riser right here. Did you have that one? You didn't have that one? Oh, dude. You just pulled it away from one, I think, bro. He popped right when you pulled your line. Oh, you were so close, dude. You were like literally right on top of him when you pulled your retrieve. He's a little bit further than I'm reaching right now. I'm trying to try to get it. A few more feet out of my cast. There we go, fish. Here comes snap, snap a pick. No, it's good. There we go. Yeah. Oh, he's little. Fatty? Yeah, dude. Did I snag him? No. Yeah, dude, nice one. Beautiful fish, guys. Kenai River rainbows. All right, you guys, here we go. Had to go do our first load on the Kenai River of the season. Uh, we did a little bit of just bank fishing yesterday and did okay. I got two, nothing big, nothing spectacular. But anyways, we're headed to the river. Go ahead and join us. Should be a good time. Really pretty out there. And uh, hopefully we catch some big fish. Riley's gonna be our captain today. Chris McAllister's gonna be Hanging with us and hopefully slam. We're gonna get to it. All right, we'll see you guys at the river. All right, guys, here we go. The raft all loaded. Got Riley, got Chris. We're going fishing in a windstorm.
All right, guys, here we go. First drift of the season for us. I got Riley, he's rolling the boat. This is his boat. Kind enough to take me and McAllister out on it today. We're gonna be fishing the Kenai River, upper Kenai River, for a little bit of rainbow trout, a little bit of Dolly Varden. Should be a good time. We got about seven, seven mile an hour winds with uh we're in a still water right now so it's kind of hard to drift fish but we got seven mile an hour winds with 40 mile an hour gusts 45 mile an hour gusts so we got a fun day ahead of us should be exciting either way but we're doing it just tomorrow's looking worse and we drove all the way down here so that's how we do all right we'll see you guys soon i'm just gonna go ahead and troll my egg sucking leech through here we got about 40 foot of line out. Long lining. Princess Lodge guys, going down the Kenai River, can't beat it, going rainbow fishing, it's cold, but uh, we're having fun, we are having fun, well me and Chris are, uh, probably has been paddling us, <laughs> Ooh, that, that was a fish, Right, right on top of the silver. Yep. Big old eagle right here, guys. We got another one. Sounds like over the hill yelling at him. And I want whatever you're eating. All right, guys, here we go. Going through the Princess Run on the Kenai River. Gonna let uh, Riley focus here. Hold on to the rope, Chris. You going on the left? The old 20 foot hole at the end of Princess. I know there's a hog laying in there. Here's that tail out of it. Yeah. The whole thing goes down flat. You're up the shallow. All right, guys, we are floating down the river. Pretty slow fishing. We got cold water, cold temps. Weren't really expecting it to be super hot, but. We're surviving the trip. It was pretty windy when we first started and uh, seems like it's a little bit better. It's a little bit warmer, so at least we're staying warm. But anyways, we're gonna keep at it and uh, hopefully we can put some more fish on the boat. I'm sure we will. This 
There's like a nice hole right over here. Alright guys, we are getting our butts kicked, but we're still having fun. We're going to get after it here again here in a minute, we'll just take a quick break. I'll kind of walk you guys through what I'm using and why I'm using it. What you guys are seeing is Redemption Day 3. First day we caught two decent sized rainbows, nothing big, nothing special. Yesterday we got our asses kicked. Today we're going to slay. It's like 9.30 in the morning, getting late on the water, so it's kind of tough to say we're going to slay, but we're going to do what we can. Oh yeah. I bet. Check it out you guys, snowing up in the mountains. Out here doing our best to catch some trout, getting our butts kicked. It's a fucking beauty boys. Video, video? I got video on. Okay. Yeah fellas. Oh, Bummer had to get him on this rod guys. That might be a steelhead, guys. I think it's a steelhead. It's a steelhead. That's a bow. It's a steelhead. I bet it's a steelhead. Nope. Bow? Bow fin. Killer upper river bow. Yep, pink fins. Coming to you. Ready? Yeah, but oh, he came up. off, dude. He came up right there, dude. Let's go. That's what's up, guys. Did Chris have a hit going through there? Beauty. You guys got a camera? Oh yeah, get a good camera out for this baby, huh? I'd say like what, 26? Yeah. Let's do, let's do some of them in the net. Go fast. Kind of 
bulk of a net just a little out of the water and I can get one. There we go. Get one. Okay, all right, here we go. Yeah, makes for a smile on this one. I worked so hard on this fish. We good? Yeah, boys! Oh, those are getting sent to the phone right now. Let's go! Everybody watch it go down. <laughs> They're like, bobber down! The last one. It's a big one. Holy moly! Just coming to tell McAllister, come catch this fish. It is. Well, I just felt something pop though. So it's eh, not humongous, but. Be nice to get some pictures. Good fish, dude. What a great fish. Drop. Yeah, he Grab those hemos. There you go. What? Nothing. We got them. All right, bro. You want to take this hole? Go get your rod. Fish this hole. There's another one in here, dude. I know it, dude. I was just getting ready to come over and tell McAllister. I guess I can just take it on times five or point five. Check it out guys. You wanna get slow-mo release? Tell me when you're ready, it takes a few seconds. Yeah. Go get your rod and get hit this hole. There's another one in here. Yeah! Callister's got one! I put some of my luck on this shit. It's gonna cost you, bro. The callus is tied up. Got a nice one. Oh, dude, don't force him. That's a nice one. All right, I need to get around the side of him here. What a dick, huh? Comes in your spot. Dude. Dude. What do you think? Got him on the top, dude? I got some of it, dude. Like that fairy guy, just dump it before he gets a <laughs> Yeah, do it. I never saw you. I'll give you fish. 20 bucks, dude. I'll give you, I'll 20, give you bucks. 20 bucks. Hey, yo, he is snagged. Look at his back. Or is that? Oh, no, he's tagged, bro. He's tagged really? by the Jeep. Is he? He's got a tag right there. Yep, he does. That's safe. Oh, monster mouth, dude. 
Here, I'm gonna take a video and then I'll get a still shot out of it. So, yep, let's get them going. Now he wants to bite. He was so chill, dude. He said that's what you get for freaking. Yeah, that's a hog daddy. Alright you guys, so basically what I got going on, I got a slip bobber, I got about four feet in between that and a swivel, I got two split shots, then I got about a 30-ish leader, then I got a uh, big stone fly on there, but anyways what I'm doing is I'm whipping this out there in this current, right here I'll show you, whip it out there. And then I'm gonna let it run this whole bank. Just like you would do with a pin rod, pin reel. You just watch it float. And you hope that in the midst of you making a video, maybe a fish would bite, bite it. That'd be pretty cool. But that's not how things work, I guess. I would have liked to have that closer to the bank, so I rode the current all the way through there, but who knows, we'll see. Once I get out of that shadow, I pretty much pull it. Right there, and that's how I'm doing it, guys. We got about uh, nine foot from my top of my bobber stop to my bottom of my hook, so. That way I'm able to be on the bottom. The most important thing to do right now is be on the bottom. These fish do not want to come up. They won't be hitting dry flies for quite a while. The water's super cold. This is gonna be a nice drift here. See it, as you can see, I just take my thumb off there and I got my uh, backlash thing real loose. And I'm just watching that. And when I get a bite, I'm gonna obviously have to thumb it and then click it over. Alright you guys, we're out here doing this, we're blowing like 20 mile, mile an hour winds, it's cold, it's snowed on us today, as you can see it's snowing up in the mountain up here, but it's just been a lot of work. It's been paying off, we pretty much had to switch to the casting rods. Dude, just... Oh, man, I should have drifted where I was at. Fun three days. What does that say? Recording? Yep. Hey guys, thanks for watching. It's been a fun three days. We're about to wrap it up. We got her here on our last little few stretches of the river. But it's been fun floating the river with uh, Riley and Chris. We've been slaying. We haven't been slaying. We've been working hard for our fish, but it's been fun. Chris is cast right over me. Working hard, right? Yeah. He says, right past this last hole. Nice job, Chris. <laughs> the last hole. <laughs> this is the last hole. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We've been having fun. I'll show you, give you guys a rundown on what we've been using and what we've been doing. And, uh, Chris almost did it again on camera. They're just going on YouTube for sure. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.